confidence is your best accessory there is nothing else you need if you the only thing you need to wear well is your confidence confidence truly is the key to getting ahead in life if you believe in yourself the world will believe in you because perception is reality i don't think confidence is something that you are born with i don't think confidence is it's a skill set and i had no confidence growing up as a child i had very low self esteem i was a kid full of fear insecurities somebody who had very low self esteem didn't believe in myself at all the only thing that i knew that i had was the ability to work bloody damn hard and that's the only thing that i did confidence is something i taught myself over the years i i started becoming okay with who i am i became the best version of me and then i sort of said i'm okay you know i'm all right your flaws are fine no one is perfect none of us we all have bad days we're all going to feel like shit sometimes you're all going to have bad days and that's fine we have this crazy standard especially with the internet where everything has to be perfect all the time and we have to look perfect we have to behave perfect we have to say the right things everyone screws up and that's all right you laugh through it don't take yourself too seriously and make sure that you don't live for someone else's validation it's your validation that you need be yourselves guys it's great to be you whatever you might want to be that is the best version of you so you drop stuff around or you are a clumsy and you're a klutz but it's you and that's what makes you special we are going through our problems as a world right now because that's what we do because we put people in boxes because we stereotype because we say everyone who's like this will be like that but in not in my experience nothing is a, a straight line and we need to stop looking at the world like that diversity shouldn't even be a conversation it should be normal when we look around this room there's not one kind of person i don't even see one kind of person in one row and that's our normal we've forgotten that eventually we're all human it's this one little planet that we have which in this big universe is really tiny so we should stop giving ourselves so much importance and saying oh well you're better than me or i'm better than you we all are basically humanity and let's like go back to that and bring compassion and kindness into beauty and not be so hard on ourselves or other people in life you know there are moments when you stop and ask yourself how did i get here like why am i standing here and i find myself going back to the beginning back to my roots i was born to incredible parents amazing parents both my my parents were very progressive in their mindsets especially coming from a country at that time which india was which was a little bit like this you know a woman's life sort of ends when she gets married because after that yeah you can think about progressive families will tell you yeah you can achieve whatever but your milestone is to get married my mother still says she's like you know you'll get married the day you find someone who will appreciate how hard you have worked to get where you are who will appreciate the sacrifices you made and that's the man you will get married to and if you don't doesn't matter we're in the world of science you can still have babies and i was like what kind of mom says that <laughs> but the idea was the philosophy behind it that it didn't define me and it's so important for us to be able to empower each other in everyday life we don't have to conquer the world you don't have to be the only person who reaches space like you don't have to have crazy wild ambitions you just have to find your power and to say that oh i can do this too i don't have to create like this crazy opportunity for me to thrive you can thrive in anything you choose just have to find that confidence within yourself life can never be safe and if it's safe it's not worth living it really isn't you have to take risks risks are so important in evolution playing it safe yeah you can have an existence but you'll never be someone who's a trailblazer the world is your oyster if i a girl from a small town like bareilly from an army officer's family 
middle class background can today be a movie star giving an inspirational speech to you today be debuting in america as a international pop star can't any one of you do it if i can do it you can do it right the world is your oyster finding our own confidence no one is going to give that to you no one is going to tell you here's an opportunity go make something of yourself you're going to do it for you i just love growing like i said i think growing is a very important thing and when i was very young i started working when i was 17 years old you need to be responsible for your finances and be financially independent and that kind of really stuck with me i just love what i do and i'm good at it and i love the ability to wake up in the morning and say oh my god i get to go to work i mean how many people in their lifetimes do a job that they love doing most people do it for survival kitcha we need to feed our families we need to survive but to wake up with you know my my feet and my fingers tingling and say wow i have this to do i have that to do today and it's an amazing feeling and i don't take it for granted I'm a high achiever. I've always been a high achiever. I'm someone who is goal oriented. I I like challenges. I like growth. I like evolution. I like knowledge. So when you put all of those things combined, I have a lot more I want to do. I've had multiple things that haven't worked out in my life. I mean, I I I just don't talk about them. I'm not someone who rests on my failures. I believe that they are a natural part of life and failure will happen to every single person and what you do after failure that makes you the person that you will become. You know I've always said that I'm ambitious and I I ha- that's my sense of purpose is my drive is my contribution to the arts. I, that's where I feel like I'll have most purpose and you know that's just my quest is always that to push the envelope. I don't really have regrets but I have to say I think um My biggest achievement I feel is honestly the ability to get over my fears. I'm hugely emotional and I get affected by a lot of things and I I know I come across as this tough sassy witty thing and but I do think that is a big part of keeping myself protected um and surviving. I've always had to do it for myself. There's not been anyone who's held a safety net for me in all the decisions that I've taken. So I think my biggest achievement is to trust my feet to trust my legs to trust my instinct and say even if i fall it's okay it'll be my mistake there's only one you okay because there's no one like you and i don't mean the superfluous superficial parts i'm talking about the core of you who you are inside your values your beliefs your flaws and once you understand who really that person is you would have made taken the first step in finding your unique self and that is the best version of you who am i really most often we don't allow ourselves the ability to dream beyond our imagination we don't allow ourselves to think about the future because we are afraid of change we are afraid to move away from what is familiar either that or sometimes you know we are too rigid to let our dreams evolve Just loosen up you know shake it off a little bit change is the only constant thing in life and you are never too old or never too experienced to learn something new believe that you have everything already as your brahmastra in your will to be able to be and achieve your dreams be fearless funny thing huh these opportunities they don't come very often they come far and few in between but when they do do we recognize them Our job is to recognize them and make the most of them. I look back on all the things that I've done and I marvel at the opportunities that came my way. More like the universe sort of guiding me towards these opportunities. All I had to do was recognize them and make sure I worked so hard that I squeezed every drop out of these opportunities. This ladies and gentlemen is called drive. It's called ambition. Be greedy. Be greedy for your ambitions. Be hungry for it. Don't live on someone else's benchmarks. I've always believed that you have to take risks, calculated, educated risks to evolve. Because if you've not truly explored the full extent of your possibilities, you'll always remain stagnant. Excellence is the pursuit of my life in anything that I do. 
my ambition gives me purpose and i think purpose is very important in life you have to have a sense of purpose you, whatever that might be it could be your children it could be your family it could be your career it could be anything i think my purpose is the pursuit of excellence in anything that i do i don't like doing anything less than perfect i want them to say that i left behind a legacy um i want my kids to feel like you know proud to say that that's our mom i want people to say that i made a dent in my art in entertainment in my profession i think dis- people confuse discipline with like punctuality sometimes but that's not what discipline is discipline is being prepared discipline is riaz discipline is training discipline is um learning discipline is knowing that if i'm going to do a job i'm going to give it my 120% otherwise i'm not going to do it one mistake can cause a big big butterfly effect learn to be like water adaptable fit into any vessel have a sense of calm have a sense of patience but ambition is extremely important and i don't just say this to girls i say this to boys and girls just everyone who wants to be able to have a purpose in life have an ambition have the guts to find your glory